Hey guys, I'm Jace from Farmstead Forge. Now that the cows are fed, we are gonna build a really super easy set of first time tongs. And I call these angle iron tongs, so you will need access to a welder, but they're kinda like pickups. If you don't have one, you probably know somebody that does. Even halfway through, I'm gonna show you how to improvise for a rivet if you don't have a rivet. Before I could make nice tongs, like these nice pickup tongs, I was making these and I also use these a lot to start the first steps on my nice tongs. I'm just building these out of some mild steel round stock. This is half inch. I normally don't use this kind of stock. But if you can drill it if you have to, I will probably hot punch it so I don't lose so much steel in them. If you don't have these, don't have a lot to work with, you can just use some quarter by three quarter or quarter by half inch tongs, sorry, stock. And then pretty much just have to make your bends that way. I use these a lot, even though these were some of the first tongs I made to make nice pickup tongs like these. So they're pretty, pretty nice. You can grab steel this way or this way. So that makes it quite nice. So, all right, these I didn't cut perfectly. One is about an inch and a half longer, which you're going to need for your upper jaw. The great thing about these is they're not like traditional tongs where they have to be perfectly the same. So if you screw them up, nobody's really going to notice. All right, so let's throw these in the fire and get rolling.
my rein so I have something to hold on to with my hand.
punching these. You punch down until you can see a nice little black round spot coming on. You get right in the center. Otherwise your hole's gonna be off. Wax. See it coming? You don't want to do this part too hot. It's not going to shear out nice. They're bottomed out. And perfect. There's my, my cute little source that come out of there. That's why I don't drill them because it just removes that hot punching. And drilling is going to take a whole bunch out. Now, if I want to re rip these someday, I'll have something to work with. That black shiny spot, right where I want to be. to the riveting section. Now, if you're like me, you don't live where there's a hardware store remotely close. I normally use rivets, just a nice rivet you can get on Amazon or wherever, or you can make your own rivets out of just some round stock. But if you don't have any of that and it's Saturday and you just wanna get these things finished, you can go down to your local hardware store, you probably have one in your shop, just a mild grade bolt. And um, you just want to make sure that you don't have any threads that are going to be in your tongs. So I'm going to show you how to clean this up a little bit on the grinder, just so it doesn't bind when it's spinning in there. And uh, we get done, it'll look pretty much just like a root. Clean this up really nice all around where my jaws are going to be pivoting together. There's nowhere to bind. Okay, we're just about ready to rivet these puppies up. So you noticed I've scarfed the one side, put a, a notch in there with a chisel. You don't have to do that, but I was always taught that your tongs need to revolve around your rivet, not your rivet spinning in those tongs because after a while they go boop, 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 like that and you get a nice war rivet like that and it doesn't, it wears your jaws 
oblong, egg-shaped. So then if you go to re-rivet, it's just, you gotta size way up. So if your rivet's stuck in one jaw, just spinning on the other one, it won't do that. So we're just gonna heat this rivet up and rivet them up. You wanna make sure you don't have a, a gap in there like that, cause it'll mushroom in between there. And then you're gonna say nasty things and the kids are gonna leave the shop and you gotta grind it all out and start over. So let's, let's avoid that little problem. Now, these things are froze shut. So, now is when you stick them in the forge, you heat them up, and you size them. I probably will weld my bottom angle iron on that jaw, and then I know where to tip my other jaw into to get it, to get it all lined up. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you like your tongs. You can use them for many, many things. You can use them for square stock, round stock. And in my next video, I'm gonna use these very tongs so we can make a hole punch so you can hole punch your next set of tongs, which you will need because we're gonna be using some high carbon steel, not the soft stuff. So if you like my video, hit like, hit subscribe, and please comment. Show me a picture of your tongs that you made. I love to see other people's work. It gets me excited, and we'll see you next time.